Thank you. We do have breaking news this morning. Two people are dead after a chase in northwest Harris County that ended with a violent crash. Yeah, a bicyclist and another driver were struck by a vehicle trying to get away from deputies. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez is at that scene on Veterans Memorial near Rainy River just outside the Hidden Valley subdivision. Kathy, we understand deputies think the suspect shouldn't have even been driving. Why is that? That's exactly right. They believe that driver was impaired when he led that deputy on a chase right here along Veterans Memorial. You can see now the road still littered with debris. A tragic scene in North Harris County. The way the deputy described his actions, it was reckless and it was a speed highly over the speed limit. Investigators say a deputy tried to stop the driver of a Mercedes Benz on Veterans Memorial near West Mount Houston last night, but the driver refused. They say he led the deputy on a short chase going the wrong way. They say the driver hit a bicyclist, kept going, and collided with a Buick. The bicyclist and the driver of the Buick died. The driver of the Mercedes was in critical condition. The deputy believed he was impaired. The investigator that's assigned to Bentob to the driver of the Mercedes Benz is, is conducting a full DWI investigation to see how impaired this driver was. Investigators also say the driver admitted to the deputy he was wanted for a parole violation. They say the chase only lasted for one minute. In that time, two people were killed. He decided to go into oncoming traffic thinking that he could evade our deputy and uh, it ended up being a very tragic night for two uh, adults and two families. Absolutely a very tragic situation. We reach out to the district attorney's office to see if that driver has been charged. He'll likely face two counts of felony murder. Reporting live in North Harris County, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.